I noticed the last part of the video got cut off, so let me just review phenotype ratio and wrap up genotype ratio. Remember that phenotypes are the outside appearance. As you can see in this cross here with our green peas, which are also known as homozygous recessive, and these yellow peas, two dominant alleles, so homozygous dominant, when they were crossed together, all four boxes, every single offspring is going to come out with one dominant allele and one recessive allele. Phenotype ratio looks at the outside appearance. So on the outside, these 25% are going to be yellow. These 25% are going to be yellow. These 25% are going to be yellow. And these 25% are going to be yellow. So that gives us a four to zero ratio. A little trick is that these two numbers should always add up to four. So that's phenotype ratio for this particular cross. Other ones, it might be two to two, or it might be three to one. Let's take a look at genotype ratio. So for this same cross, the genotype ratio looks at the actual combination of alleles. And there's three different types of genotypes that we've learned. We've learned homozygous dominant, which means two dominant alleles. In this case, it would be capital Y, capital Y. We've learned heterozygous, which is one dominant allele and one recessive allele. In this case, capital Y, lowercase y. And we've learned homozygous recessive, which is lowercase y, lowercase y in this case. So we look at our cross here between our green peas and our yellow peas. And every single box in this case came out also with the same combination of alleles. They're all heterozygous. They all have one dominant and one recessive allele. So our genotype ratio is zero homozygous dominant, four heterozygous, and zero homozygous recessive. Again, these numbers should always equal four. So you might have something that comes out I don't know, one to two to one or four to zero to zero, but either way, they should always add up to four. All right, we're going to get into some practice problems next.